Cuyahoga County got $215 million to help pay for costs racked up during the pandemic. The county says it has already spent $4.5 million to buy PPE and to support small businesses through the Small Business Resource Center. The money will be used to fund additional support programs in the coming days, but it cannot be used to make up for loss of revenue due to sales tax. We have been telling you for more than a month now how small businesses have been stung by the COVID-19 lockdown, lost revenue, mounting bills, and billions in government loans proving so elusive. For help, many business owners turn to their insurance company to cover losses. But as 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski learned, insurance companies are routinely denying those claims, a trend that has far-reaching implications. This was his creation. It's really a cultural hub. It's an absolute blast. A unique concept, merging hip craft beer with old school vinyl music. We built this thing from the ground up. Nowadays, Troy Stacy can hardly look at what's left of his creation. <laughs> music has died, its future in doubt. Right now, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. Like so many Ohio businesses, Stacy's Columbus Vinyl Shop was shuttered in March by Governor Mike DeWine's COVID-19 lockdown. So Stacy turned to his insurance company to offset the unexpected crisis. I was absolutely devastated. His insurance claim was denied, despite no virus exclusions in his policy. It's heartbreaking to see what my fellow business owners are going through. And then the, you know, the back end whammy from the insurance company has, has left a lot of people with simply no income. It's a scenario playing out across the country and right here in Northeast Ohio, as insurance carriers like Cincinnati Insurance deny COVID-19 claims by small businesses. Cleveland-based restaurants Mitchell's Ice Cream and Night Town have sued the same insurance company. We believe it is going to be a national battle. We have not heard of any insurance company that is honoring a single one of these appropriate claims. Insurance companies often say the shutdown caused, quote, no property damage to businesses. But Chicago-based attorney Adam Levitt said that's the exact claim the insurance industry made for virus exclusions in 2006, after the MERS epidemic. Had they actually worked the right way, these should all be immediately paid out. For many small business owners, they've reached a crossroad. Some may not reopen, but Troy Stacy says he won't back down. Well, I won't back down. I've always paid my premiums. They're right here. I, you know, I, I've done my end of the contract, and uh, I can't help but feel they need to do the same. Cincinnati Insurance did not respond to our request for comment. Meanwhile, lawmakers in at least seven states, including Ohio, have proposed legislation that would require insurance companies cover COVID-19-related losses. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.